I don't know why, guys. I'm screwing Lucky. up. Lucky! Good morning, YouTube. Guys, I'm coming to you from a dark gym. Fitness culture has gone dark. This is what it's like living in these times. Gyms aren't open. Food can't be found. Gains are being lost. Hey, fellas. What's up, dude? Look what we're doing. Guys, we're freaking so official. What's up, man? I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. We are looking. That mat's got to go, though. We just need a black mat. Yeah, we need I can go home and get a black mat. We're shooting at home and minimal equipment workout today. We're really shooting all the conditioning workouts here. So fitness culture, we have our 30-day challenge that will be going on here shortly. You get all of your workouts and then nutrition, everything else, plus little challenges each day to keep you guys kind of busy and doing something during this this time so everyone's been asking for home workouts we're giving people those body weight and minimal equipment stuff so it should be a good time let's go let's go man upstairs at the gym here in our fitness culture offices and what are we listening to guys strawberries wake dance gavin dance is this is this you you gotta fix it up sometimes this is jeremy what up and what are we listening to I, it's just the aggressive day aggressive it's modern rock Aggressive modern rock. Yeah. What a day. What a day. Just letting out all your cr corona frustrations. Absolutely. Where would you be listening to? Honestly, some E40. Drake. <laughs> Tell me when to e go. E40 and Drake. Oh, that new, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. new Drake song? Right foot, left foot slide. Can you do it? No. No, okay. All right. I don't know why I'm drinking Premier Protein. Did you bring these in? You do. Yeah, what has caffeine in it? It does. 60 milligrams. We're just waiting for our supplements to get, we have samples. They're just waiting for them to get made. So we stopped drinking these because I've never been a big fan of these. Don't tell Premier Protein that. I'm sure they're great people. And this is Paula. Paula handles all of our customer service. And we are social distancing even in the office. Don't worry. We all stay six feet apart. Whoa. Whoa, bye. Got up on a meeting. Okay. Welcome to my office. You guys probably have seen this before. Still got some of my line hanging up in here. I'm gonna change right now, and then I'm gonna go down. We're gonna knock out all of these body workouts. It's gonna be like an hour and a half of just movement. And then I'm gonna work out after. We have been filming for what? Probably solid two hours? Two and a half hours? Two and a half, I think. You guys did a great job. We had Jake down here too. He just left. What are you trying to do now? Get a TikTok dance? Yeah. We're trying to get a TikTok dance in and then go eat. Where do you wanna go eat? Grill. Yeah. Teriyaki Teriyaki grill? Yeah. Yes! My favorite! I love it! Hobbs! Where are you going? What are you doing? What, yeah, why, how are you sitting like why that? Why are you looking like a seal? Stretching. He's just oh. trying to get it out. Oh. Mm. Where do you want to go eat, mister? Mm. Oh, big stretch. Yoga oh, stretch. Oh, good those luggies. Oh, actually, I want to get a picture where him and I are both doing that stretch that he does. <laughs> good those luggies. How can we do that? Good those luggies. Play me. <laughs> He's ready to play. He's ready. To... <laughs> You're ready to play. Oh, mom plays rough with you. I you play we, rough up. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm a woman. You're supposed to be mom, nurturing It's year stuff. of the women. When we have kids, if I have boys, they're gonna just be little savage. Just cute I don't love you so much. All right, let's do this TikTok dance. Okay, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta tell me. I know the dance. <laughs> Three, two. Dang it, I messed it up. <laughs> it's that. I get one, I get one mess up. Look at our professional TikTok setup here. Light, light. Just kidding. That wouldn't be just for TikTok. Although I did see, who was it? Jason Derulo? Yeah. They had professional Jason lights. Derulo. Are you gonna go this side? How do you know? Because I know you. Do you know? Yeah, I do. Nice. Yes, I do. Moose, moose. Morgan said she could see my moose knuckles. So I, I made the noise of a moose, which is this. Oosh! Back up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop coming closer to me. Stop coming closer to me. That's what you do in all your photos. He goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Let's do one more. I'm gonna get into it.
Did I mess it up? Did I? Yes. You didn't do your back hands with me before. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's how I messed up, yeah. I don't know why, guys. I'm screwing Lucky. up. Lucky! Last one. We should have just stuck with the second one. Well, we saved it, right? No, we didn't. You always gotta save a TikTok. All right, we did it. We came, we saw, we TikToked. I wanted to learn the Funky Town one really bad, so hopefully, maybe every day we just throw a TikTok dance on here. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Sometimes our son doesn't listen. Um, he just sits under the car. When we pick him up to put him in the car, sometimes he just stays under the car, thinking he can get in that way. Well, guess what, bud? You can't. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Oh, hi. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Hey. Who's the captain? You're now? so close to my head. Oh, oh, paparazzi. Paparazzi shot. All right, we're on our way to Teriyaki, teriyaki Grill. Grill. Which we tried some other teriyaki places in town just to, you know, spread the love, and none of them have compared to Teriyaki Grill. Not at all. So sometimes you have to go where everyone knows your name, and you're always glad you came. Sometimes you have to go where everybody knows your name. What? That's just you, isn't it? That's what? not even a real song. That's a real song. Who sings it? It's from the TV show, Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna show her Cheers right now. Making your way in, in the world, world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. How old is this movie? I don't, it's a TV show. How old is it? I don't know, early 90s. Where everybody Early knows your name. Babe. And you're always glad you came. This is older than I am. I wasn't even born. You want to be with the people. Oh, oops, said another part. See, it's a great show. Babe, what's the new? What? You sing the wrong lyrics at the wrong time. Oh, you're being rude today. Go in and get our teriyaki grill, please. Do not tell me like what to do. now. No. <laughs> I will actually be going in and getting the teriyaki grill because... Do you have your wallet? Nope. It's in the car. Lunch is on me. You growled at me when I forgot your hot sauce last time, so I don't forget it ever. We're back in the office with lunch. Morgan's claiming that I growled. Maybe we had just finished watching Tiger King, Probably. and I was growling at you to show you how much I loved you. I don't think that's how it works. Listen, Carol. Listen, Carol Baskin. You killed your husband. This is our favorite. Six ounces of chicken. We get extra chicken. A cup of white rice, avocado, and just steamed veggies. It doesn't get much better than this. With lunch being finished up and about 30 minutes of waiting, I am now ready to go actually do my workout. So we filmed for about four hours today, but <sighs> life in the quarantine, I guess it's not really quarantine. Life with social distancing, with restaurants and everything else, hikes, everything else not being open, traveling, can't do it. So we're just gonna work out. Today is push pull. I'm a superset chest and back. On top of the four hours of random ass training I did, That'll be plenty for today. And then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna drink a Diet Dr. Pepper and I'm gonna see what kind of trouble I get into. months ago I was looking at old pictures and I was just kind of disgusted because I felt like I haven't been as intense in my training and really on top of my nutrition so it was about three and a half months ago but I was like ah I need to get back and do a I don't want to call it a bulk but get up I was like 207 208 um, today weighed in at 219 it's not all good weight you can see I do have some body fat but 219 and a half and still can see some abs so it's not all bad but I'm wondering now, should I continue on and try to get to 225 or should we cut a little bit? Summer's coming up, keep that in mind. I'm gonna go show you guys how much I weigh right now. It's so nice to have this empty gym. Even though I know a lot of people are suffering because they can't come in and train, I am enjoying these workouts to myself. Kind of taking me back to when I was a kid. My dad used to take me to the high school that he worked at. He had a key to the weight room, so I'd always be working out by myself. I loved it. Always keep half the lights off. 220. Almost 221. Let's get back to the last set. Last set, best set. Not too bad for 221. 
like I said, feeling a little bit soft around here. I always gain body fat in my lower back and my thighs, kind of the, the area, especially here and here. So anyhow, that's what I'm weighing right now. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments below. We go to 225, I'm just under six foot one. I'm pretty much six foot one, like under by a centimeter. 225 seems pretty heavy. I played college football at 240 and it really was hard for me to move. So let me know what you think. All right, that is it for my workout. Today, uh, we filmed a bunch of stuff and then I just did a push pull day. And right now my split is kind of all over the place. Basically, I'm trying to hit my chest and back twice a week. If I hit everything else once a week, I'm happy. I'm throwing in like more type IDVTs, Metcons, because I like that feeling of pushing to exhaustion. I'll we'll go over kind of what those are in my training and things like that. Also doing tons of body weight work right now because we're filming so much body weight stuff that uh, a lot of my body weight workouts that we're filming, filming multiple ones. So I might be working 20 to 40 minutes a day just doing body weight stuff too. So getting my cardio from that, I'm not gonna lie, having a private gym, next level. So much so that I don't even know if I wanna open this gym back up once quarantine is done. You know, when we opened Fitness Culture, we wanted to use it as a production studio, thinking, oh, you know, we'll cap the memberships at about 400 people, and that'll just kind of help us offset the cost of having our own place to film. Well, it quickly turned into a full-fledged gym. And with that, you know, everyone who comes in, you wanna to talk to, you wanna give them your all, like just like you would at an expo or meeting someone on the street, but you fail to realize when you don't have a gym, how that's really your, your, your safe place. That's how you, it's your, your therapy session. You come in for that hour to two hours and it's all about you. It's about working out. It's about exercising, about mentally getting right, physically getting right. And all of a sudden that gets kind of taken away from you. And so you start kind of dreading this place that you used to love because it becomes like work. Something breaks or if something gets lost, you know, if someone steals something, you're the one who's dealing with it all. So I think owning a gym has got its ups and downs. It's great because you get to meet people. So if I could somehow hybridize, is that a word? I don't even know if it's a word. Hybridize those two, maybe like keep it closed Monday through Friday and then do open gyms or something. I don't know. Having this gym closed for this all has been kind of crazy. A, because you know, we're not making any money uh, right now on the gym and that's always difficult when you have rent due. We got rent due each and every day. Now our app side of things, while we do home workouts, most of our stuff is in a gym. If people can't go to the gym, it's a hard time for gym owners. It's a hard time for people who do workout plans for people in the gym. But we do have that 30 day at home workout challenge that's going on. So we have a, a program that's at home, barbells or just body weight, depending on what people have. So we have that. So we, we are still doing tons of programming and shooting tons of content. But what I'm quickly realizing is I kind of like just having a place that I can come into, get content, fuel that online YouTube, our fitness culture app, get everything we need to get done with that because it's a lot more work to be an actual gym owner and come in every day and see things that need to be restocked, toilet paper, you know, things break, cables break. So, you know, if I had it my way, I think we'd have about a thousand square feet of offices. The rest just, you know, workout area for maybe six to seven people having a rack, maybe two racks having enough equipment that it's really, really nice, but not tons and tons and tons of the same type of machines. You know, we wouldn't need 10 treadmills. I think we have in here eight squat racks. We wouldn't need all of that. And then maybe on the weekend, open it up to people, do workouts with people and have them be almost like mini expos during the weekend. But I don't know. That's my kind of my rant today. This again is a good chest workout, chest and back workout. I didn't get to show you guys everything because my other camera died. I'm on my phone again, but I appreciate you. Day three of the vlogs in the book. Forgot how hard vlogging is every single day. So thank you guys. And if you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to do that.